Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon. Whenever you're watching this replay, that's fine with me. Um, I'm Whitney Nicely, and y'all know I talk all about real estate all the time. I joke that I have completely lost the ability to have small talk, and as a little pal kid or a little Knoxville girl, that's really embarrassing to not be able to do small talk anymore. But um, my husband says that I have a very natural and wonderful ability to jump a regular conversation at the grocery store into what kind of real estate problem do you have or what are you trying to sell or what kind of situation are you in or you know most people once I start talking about real estate they're like yeah I've always wanted to do that you know I have a I have a background in flipping houses or my dad used to buy houses or you know, my mom is an agent and she's always talked about how you could get into real estate and start buying houses. So whenever I start a conversation with somebody, even complete strangers, they just start confessing all of their real estate sins to me, okay? Or all of their real estate desires or all of their real estate, just everything about real estate. People just love to talk to me about real estate and it's because I don't know how to do small talk anymore, okay? I, I, I've forgotten. I don't know. Don't ask me what's going on with the Kardashians. Don't ask me what's going on with the election. Don't ask me about, you know, even the weather because I, I don't watch the news. I'm busy reading InmanNews.com and that's the real estate newspaper. So if you don't want to talk about real estate, don't call me. But if you do want to talk about real estate and you want to get started in real estate investing, I have a solid opportunity for you, okay? And I am putting this on my personal page because you would not believe the amount of people that send me a message or put a link on my page or send me a text message or, I mean, just all sorts of people all the time are saying, hey, Wit. I'm watching you do the real estate because I want to do it one day. One day I want to have a real estate portfolio. One day I want to be a landlord. One day I want to flip houses. And that day is today. Today, y'all. I want you to go buy a house today. But with me, I don't have any money. You don't have to have money to buy houses. You can buy a house for $10 or you can buy a house for $100. You can buy nice houses for no money, okay? But you have to know how. Or you have to save up some money and buy some land. And I, I, buy, land. I buy land, that's cool. I buy houses, that's cool. I buy apartments, that's fun too. I wanna buy storage units, I wanna buy a mobile home park. I mean, I've got lots of things out there that I wanna do. But one thing I want you to do is start a real estate portfolio. I want you to be a real estate rock star, okay? I've been blasting up my page with all these drops of information for like the last, what, seven years? And for the last four years, I've been pretty hard and heavy on real estate, right? Well, yesterday, I decided to get really into real estate coaching, okay? I really want you to develop a real estate portfolio. And I'm giving my Facebook friends an opportunity that I'm not giving everybody else. If you book a call with me today or tomorrow, you can get in to my full Become a Real Estate uh, Rockstar, Become a Real Estate Investing Rockstar package. Okay, that's the full name of it. You can go to allaboutrei.com, check it out, and book a call with me. If you book a call today or tomorrow, today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, if you book a free 30 minute call with me today or tomorrow and you sign up, by tomorrow night, then I'm going to give you a free one hour consultation either next week or if you want to get into the program, I've got like 20, 20 hardcore lessons of webinars in the program right now. You can start immediately. You can do it all weekend long if you want to. You can book, you can, if you sign up tomorrow, you can have a call with me, an hour strategy call, an uh, intensive call to get you fired up and going and making offers. You can either choose to do it next week or you can get in and you can wait and you can do it next month. Okay. And it's a free hour consultation with me working on your goals, working on your strategy because everybody's got different strategies. Okay. I'm up to 15 houses now. I love, I mean, I thought originally I'd want to have 50 or 100 houses, and now that I'm at 15, I'm kind of like, whoa, 
or maybe I just need to buy a different 15 houses, okay? I've got three houses available right now. I've got one in Powell. I got one coming up in Fountain City. I got one uh, across from Cherokee Lake in Talbot. I've got apartments available. I've got commercial units available, okay? I'm all real estate all the time and I want you to be all about real estate too because I'm 31. I'm a millennial, okay? I'm kind of an old millennial, but I'm still a millennial. I talked to a man yesterday and he said that more 20 year olds need to be buying triplexes, quadplexes, or even houses. And then uh, Julie and I talked about this on the radio show. If you listen to my radio tomorrow, Julie and I are talking about why you should not sell your first house, why you should rent it. Okay. Because if you do that 10 times, boom, you got 10 houses. Okay. Once you go through and do regular real estate, even if you're a listing agent, you know the process, you have the connections, you have the ability. I need to teach you how to flip it and buy houses with no money down, no credit, no banks, none of the origination fees, all that jazz. Okay. Or I need to teach you a lot of people tell me, yeah, you know, when I sell my primary house, then I'm going to start buying real estate. And I'm thinking, no, Buy real estate now. Put fifteen hundred bucks, five thousand dollars. Put whatever you have extra into land and rent that land for two hundred fifty dollars a month. Okay, I do that. I've got a chunk of land that gives me two hundred fifty dollars a month, and two hundred fifty dollars a month may not change your life. But think about it like this: it could make your car payment for you. It could be two hundred fifty dollars towards your primary residence house every month. Abby Labby's walking through. She says hello. So if you pay $250, an extra $250 every month towards your primary residence, towards your primary mortgage, you'd pay off your mortgage like 10 years faster. And that's not you having to go clock in and do a nine to five or pull an extra shift or do anything like that for that extra $250. That's just mailbox money. It's actually inbox money. I get an email that says, boom, you have $250. Or the third thing you could do with that 250 is you could go get your hair done. You could get your nails done. You could get your toes done. You just blow $250. You go on a little mini vacation every month for 250 that somebody else paid for. But the fourth option you can do with that 250 and this is incredible. Think about it like this. If you put $1,500 down on a piece of property and just 1500 bucks, that's all I'm talking about. And you rent it for 250 a month. In a year, you've made your money back, you got your $1,500 back, and you have another $1,500 that you can spend on another chunk of land. So for the rest of your life, you're getting $250 a month off this first chunk. And then you buy another chunk and you get $1,500 off of it. So at the end of a year, you got all your money back. You're renting two chunks of land for $500. You got your money, you can go, you can save that $250. For a year. Now you got three thousand dollars. A two acre tract of land and and rent it for a thousand dollars a month. So now you got two fifty, two fifty, and a thousand. You got fifteen hundred dollars coming at you per month that you don't have to clock in for. Okay? Think about how that 250 can compound over 10 years. You could be bringing in $10,000 a month off of an initial $1,500 investment. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to be a real estate investor, but I don't want you to just willy nilly make offers on properties. I don't want you to go to bigger pockets and use their calculator without knowing how to actually calculate the stuff yourself. I want you to call and when I ask you questions and I say, well, how much is the insurance and how much is the taxes and how much do you expect to pay in expenses? I want you to know those answers because I'm going to teach you those answers. I'm going to teach you how to get the information out of the sellers so that it doesn't feel like you're pushing. It doesn't feel like you're begging. It doesn't feel like you're being slimy. It feels like you're helping somebody because you are. I want you to help somebody. I help people. I help my Facebook friends, okay? I help them get out of mortgages that they don't want. A Facebook friend of mine, they know me on Facebook. Y'all go to allaboutrei.com and book a call with me. Book a call today or tomorrow. I helped a Facebook friend in June, okay? She called me and she was like, hey Whip, 
We have a house in Powell. Yay, Powell people! We have a house in Powell and we want to move to Seymour. We're not behind on our payments. This is a beautiful house. We're in Powell, okay? They're like half a mile from Powell Elementary. A mile, maybe, from Powell High School. What, two miles from Powell Middle School? They're in the heart of Powell. Powell. Not in a bad situation. They just want to up and leave. So I said, cool. I'll buy your house. I'll take over your payments. I'll let somebody else move in. Okay? So I'm helping this Facebook friend that I have get out of a house. It's not a bad situation. They're not desperate sellers. They're not dealing with the F word, which is foreclosure. Okay? They're in a really good situation. They just want to leave. They don't want to list it. They don't want to fool with an agent. Okay? I'm an agent, but I don't work like an agent. I work like an investor. I want to teach you why you don't need a real estate license to be an investor. So I'm helping this one family. Then I'm going to turn around right now. There's a house in Powell, three bedrooms, two baths available rent to own. I'm helping people with bad credit. I'm helping people that are waiting out of bankruptcy. I'm helping people that have student loans. I'm helping self-employed people because self-employed people can't just go get a loan. Okay. Because they're self-employed. The market goes up there and pay or if you're self employed it may show that you're in poverty. Your books may show that you are under the federal minimum wage. But what's actually happening means you're in like the upper crust of middle class Americans. But more brokers, and Anna's on here, she can vouch for this, mortgage brokers aren't all like Anna, okay? They don't all see the bigger picture. A lot of people see self-employed people as a risk. So I will put self-employed people in these rent-to-own houses for a year or two, and then I, as a company, can present a mortgage broker that you've made your payments on time or early, that you put money down, that you have good credit, that you've rebuilt your credit, that you've waited out your bankruptcy that you know you're a good person but for whatever reason on paper you may not be that great but you could be and you could improve it so I get to help those people I help the sellers get out of situations that they don't want and it's not because they're in dire straits and I help people get into houses that they do want to buy and it's not really because they're in dire straits either okay lots of things can affect you 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 could go into the hospital and get tons of medical bills and have to file bankruptcy. That doesn't mean you're a bad person. That means life happened. Okay? So I help people all across the board. And I'll tell you, this week I got a lead on a $1.3 million house that they are thinking about owner financing. To me, if I will leave their tenant in it, guess how much their tenant pays per month? You don't have to guess. $7,000. Could you imagine making a $7,000 a month mortgage payment? What if somebody was making you a $7,000 a month mortgage payment? If I buy this house on owner financing, I'm not going to pay them $7,000 a month to let me owner finance it. I'll probably pay them half. That means I'm going to collect $7,000 a month and maybe I'll pay out $4,000. So I went to PAL, but if somebody is paying me $7,000 and I only have to pay out $4,000, how much did I make every month? If I, and I told these people, you know, I can't, if the house is worth 1.3, I can't buy it for 1.3 unless you're going to give me like a 50 year mortgage. They're like, oh, no, 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 no. You know, the house has some problems. We could probably sell it for half. When, when is the last time, if you're a listing agent, tell me the last, last time that you walked into a million house and they told you that they make half. But then they told you that they, they want to own or finance it to you. Okay, if you're a listing agent on here and you, you've had, had that, that situation, please come because I want to interview, but I don't think I have fine houses, great houses, and they just don't want them anymore. And I want to teach you how to do this. Okay? The point of my whole little tirade here 
is that I have a program that I've developed. It's me talking to you, teaching you about owner financing and lease options. Okay, I'm teaching you about how to get into the weird side of real estate, the creative financing side of real estate, or the cash side of real estate. Okay, because there's plenty of real estate to be bought for cash. Okay, I talked to a woman the other day. She bought like three lots with a mobile home on it for twenty five hundred dollars. Her kids are saving up money so that they can go. They're twelve years old and. They see their mom buying land and a mobile home for $2,500 that they could rent for $500 a month. So their 12-year-old children, little girls, are thinking about getting into real estate. And I'm talking to grown adults who don't understand the power of real estate. Okay? These 12-year-old girls get it. My 9-year-old stepson is saving up money so he can go buy some land. I want you to buy some land. I want millennials to buy some land. And I say this all the time, and you may not like this when I say it, but millennials are lazy. We're lazy because our parents have real estate portfolios, and we're too busy, you know, chasing these dreams. We're too busy saving up for a Louis Vuitton bag. We're too busy saving up for a down payment on a primary house to even think about buying a quadplex, to have four people, three people chipping in towards our mortgage payment. Okay, there's so many different ways to get into real estate besides the traditional way. And if you're a traditional agent, if you're a regular agent, mm, cheers to you. But you need residual income. Anna's on here. She's awesome. Love my mortgage broker friends. Love my regular agent friends. I have like five. Okay, I'm a broker in Knoxville. I know like five agents. I don't hang out with them. I'm not chasing clear to close. I'm not networking with them. I'm not passing out business cards at the stinking, uh, uh, what is it downtown? The commerce, whatever it is. I don't do that, okay? I go out, I talk to sellers. I talk to buyers. I deal with off-market properties. I don't list anything on the MLS, okay? I had coffee with Holly McRae, who is one of my idols, and she was telling me about how much business she does on the MLS, and I was like, well, if you check me out on the MLS, you'll see that there's a big fat goose egg next to my name, or maybe one or two, but it's basically crap under Whitney Buys Houses on the MLS because I don't use it. I don't need it. I can find... I mean, I've got 1,200 emails in my box right now of leads that I don't have time to follow up on. That means there's 1,200 people in Knoxville that need somebody to buy their house. And you might be that person. So, go to allaboutrei.com. I want everybody on my friends list. There's like 1,500 or something ridiculous. I want every one of you to book a call with me, okay? I want to be so swamped that I have to work the weekend. I want you to become real estate investors, okay? I've got a plan. And starting on August the 1st, I swear y'all are going to direct message me and be like, okay, I messed up. I really meant to get into your program before, but I didn't. So is there anything we can do? And I'm going to say, no, I'm sorry, because people are paying me to get into this program now. And I'm giving y'all, my friends, the opportunity to get into it now. Today. Book a call with me today. Allaboutrei.com. Today, book a call with me. Let's get you started on your real estate portfolio, okay? I want to get you into the full program. Because if you get into the full program, and some of my friends are on here in the full program, it's a year-long program. What I'm coming out with in August is going to be a 12-week program or a six-week program marketing boot camp or a eight week um, owner financing boot camp. It's going to be very specific and it's going to be very tailored and it's going to be the same price that I'm offering the full program for today and tomorrow. You're going to pay a lot more money if you wait until August. Heck, if you wait until Monday, you're going to pay more money to get into my program. Okay. And y'all have been watching me for the last Seven years since I flipped this house that we were that I'm sitting in right now. Okay, I flipped it in 09 with mom and dad. Y'all been watching me post pictures of real estate. You watch me about as much as you watch those crazy, boring HGTV shows. Okay, and you love it. 
You love it when I put dirty pictures up of real estate. You love it when I put a sold picture up. You love cheering for me and I, I thank you for that, okay? I really do, I thank you. I appreciate that. But I want you to put those pictures up. I want you to be a real estate investor, okay? I want you to be there with me doing these deals and I wanna teach you how. So go to allaboutrei.com, book a call with me today or tomorrow. If you book today or tomorrow, you pay today or tomorrow, then I'm gonna give you another hour for free with me either next week or next month. Okay, and I would really suggest that you wait until next month to get your hour call with me because I want you to go all the way through what I have uploaded already, I've got at least 20 webinars up there right now that'll teach you how to get started, how to talk to sellers, how to fill out a lead sheet, how to get the information that you need. Everything is already in there to get you started, okay? And then in a month, when you've been out in the field, you've talked to sellers, you have some experience, then that phone call will be invaluable to ask me questions, okay? But if you go ahead and sign up, you're gonna be in for any 12-week program that I come up with. You're gonna be in for any six-week program that I come up with. In fact, I'm just gonna upload it to the program that I have in there right now and send you an email and be like, hey, it's the here, go ahead and get started. Okay, you're not gonna have to go through this big, huge sales funnel and all this blah, blah, blah. You're just gonna get it for free. It's just gonna be in there for you. Okay, so, Share this video if you know somebody who's thinking about real estate, who's talked about real estate, who needs to know more about real estate. Share my video. Go for it, okay? And then go to allaboutrei.com. Book a call with me today or tomorrow. Today's Thursday. I'm busy this afternoon. I've already got like four or five, eight appointments this afternoon. But I've got plenty of time this morning to talk. And I've got all day Friday open to do nothing but talk to you and sign you up to get you started into real estate investing. All about REI.com. I can't wait to talk to y'all. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, the link is in the top of my Facebook bio. All about REI.com. That's all about real estate investing, all about real estate investments, and all about real estate investors. Investors. Okay? All about REI.com. I've completely lost the ability for small talk. All I want to do is talk about real estate. So get in my club and let's talk about real estate. I hope everybody has a great day and I hope I am just bombarded with emails and links and people signing up. So y'all let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you today or tomorrow. Bye.